potential. And maximise potential is all well. It's just in our context, it's about being, being the best we can be in a Scottish context and then looking to progress beyond that in the UK and, 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 and the world level. Um, so the first part, we'll be focusing on, on training racing. I'll talk about my ideas um, in terms of training, uh, what I did when I first started, what I did when I then progressed to a senior athlete, um, um, and a wee, bit, a wee bit more specifically about what, what I did in lead up to races and, and such like, and then obviously bring in, bring in Chris at the appropriate point. And then uh, later on, we'll, we'll look at what cross country means to me, um, how, how you plan for success in cross country and indeed other, other, other disciplines. Um, why we've been relatively successful in terms of progression through the tran tran transition points um, and why we keep coming back for more, why we're still here to talk to you. Uh, I think I won the Youth's National in 1980, I've got this right, 1983, I think, 1983, yep, Youth's National 1983, beating the favourite called Davy McShane from Campus Lang, uh, and uh, I won the Masters title last year, so I'm still here uh, in 2011. Um, Okay, so in terms of training, I suppose this I, I always this this in terms of trying to sum up my own philosophy, this this quote I think sums it up for me. Uh, um, anyone can run fast repetitions and have a cup of tea and a bun after each rep. Who do you reckon said that? All right. It was actually for your right, it was actually Brian Horrible. Sadly just just died really in, in the <coughs> beginning of the year, a few days ago. Um, for me, cross country um, is about being able to run fast and to sustain that fast pace over a period of time. And it's about training, uh, training your body, training your mind, and able to be able to do that. Um, and and you know that that little quote kind of kind of, kind of sums up that. It's about training to be fast and training to sustain that speed. Um, and I think the first thing that you have to do in terms of uh, and the end discipline you run in athletics is to try and understand the specific requirements of your event. And it's not rocket science in terms of cross country. For me, it's, 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 there are four key, key things. There's, there's your basic endurance space. You can't be successful in cross country if you, unless you've got a basic aerobic endurance space. Um, you need to have a, a reasonable degree of leg speed. Um, and you need to have local muscular endurance to cope with the terrain of cross country and to sustain that leg speed. Um, and finally, you need to have as resilience in order to be successful in competition uh, and, and, and on all endurance events, you need to be a mental strength. In cross country with all the twists and turns, things that go wrong, um, you know, it's maybe something that, that gives you a little bit of a 